What's up guys, Brian Marcusano here. Today's video, we're gonna be discussing the social lifestyle ultimate blueprint. Now, purpose of this video for today is I just want to explain my thought process to you behind how you want to approach the concept of social circle and the development process and the skill set of your lifestyle. So pretty exciting stuff. I'm going to explain the components and then how to execute them. I'm going to explain the steps and the sequences so that you understand the blueprint, what to prioritize and in what order. So that's what this video is all about today is the blueprint to curating and crafting and pursuing the ultimate social lifestyle. So the way that I view it and the way that I put this video together is it's kind of like a pyramid. So let's get into that. Very, very bottom of the pyramid, okay? The ultimate foundation of your social life blueprint is gonna be self-discipline. And so why is that? The reason being is because in this initial step, you are the only person that can make the decision to go on this journey. You're the only guy that can save himself and step into becoming a man of discipline, a man of good character, a man of virtue, right? So what, what does all of that mean exactly? So it's daily habits, things like workouts and being in shape. How do you expect to continue through the rest of the social life blueprint and crafting the ultimate lifestyle? If you can't bring yourself to go to the gym a couple of days per week and take care of your body and feel good about yourself. So that's why everything else is gonna be built on top of what I discuss in this slide here. And at the very bottom of your social life blueprint is the self-discipline and the pyramid. So it's things like money and being financially stable. I mean, how are you going to achieve all of the different topics that we discuss if you're not in a place where financially you're taken care of and you're not scraping to get by and living check to check? You need to have that aspect taken care of, your education as well. So your mindset, your reading, your self-improvement. These are things that, again, only you can decide to step into. Only you can achieve the rest of your goals if you bring yourself to fill your own knowledge gaps and to really pursue self-improvement. But at the very basis of it, be a man that has good habits, good discipline, has you know honor and good virtue. Only you can take this step. So after you've gotten a good foundation for yourself, after you have a baseline as a man of being self-disciplined and developing your character, what comes after that, the next layer that's on top of that is going to be your vibe. Okay. So at the very bottom of the social life blueprint, the self-discipline, that's going to be more who you are to yourself. Who are you inside here when you're alone and when you look at yourself in the mirror? After that is how you're presenting yourself to the world, to the outside and the people that you come into contact with and how they're interpreting you. So this is going to be things like your riz, your fashion, your grooming, your confidence, your social skills. So what exactly is riz, right? Riz, riz is basically just your, uh, you know, it's, it's like your flirtatiousness. It's your ability to have engaging conversations. Your riz is your ability to talk to people in a way and engage with people in a way that is influential and persuasive and gets people to like you. So these are all things that can be learned and can be developed. And what I want to tell you is that don't rely on just my material. Don't rely on just what I coach and train and in my videos, right? Like there's no one singular avenue here. There's no one coach that's going to get you to a place where you have an amazing vibe. I've gone through countless, I don't even know how many courses, how many YouTube videos, or how many mentorship programs on different aspects and elements that I've been trained in. Read the books, go on YouTube, you know, be self-sufficient. That's why it comes back down to self-discipline every single time. Your fashion obviously matters. That's having a, a just good, well put together outfit that another person can immediately see on a flash judgment basis as somebody that they can imagine being in their life. You know, grooming, making sure that you're being well, well kept, your confidence. So your confidence is a function of your, uh, per, your 
uh, your perceived level of positive outcomes. And that, where does that come from? Well, it comes from practice. It comes from skill set development. And it, that, that comes down to self-discipline. So these are two aspects that nobody can really do for you. You have to, again, you have to participate in your own rescue. Nobody's going to come and save you. Nobody's going to come, you know, give this to you. You have to do this for yourself. So that's why at the very bottom where self-discipline comes in, you cannot curate a vibe without self-discipline. All right. So let's now imagine that you've got those two foundational pieces taken care of. You're a man of discipline. You're a man of good character. You have a good vibe. You've got good riz and good confidence and good charisma. What comes after that in your social life blueprint is going to be your high volume front end offer. So what, is, what does that look like? How does that work? And what are the components to the high volume front end offer? So basically what it is, is figuring out the most trending and the most popular venue that has status in your city, in your area. So the reason that that's important is because this aspect of your social life blueprint is to is throwing parties at this facility for free. So it gives pretty much any guy the ability to create a bargaining chip, right? So to create value and offer value to the marketplace, that's what's going to kickstart the rest of the chain of events that happens after this portion of the process. So we use recruitment mentality in this phase. It's a little bit less about focusing on 10 out of 10 women and super influential and, and super high status local celebrities, and really more about having this come one, come all mentality where we're not worrying too much about the ratios. And the only thing we're worrying about is just using our good judgment and making sure we're not inviting people out that are you know, going to bring the vibe down or bring a negative experience for other people. So the mentality that we have around our high volume front end offer is bring a friend or two. And really what we're looking to do to catapult the rest of your social life blueprint is we're focusing on volume in this phase. And the reason that we focus on volume is because we want to just lessen our degrees of separation to other people within our city. And we're wanting to establish as much social proof as possible. So this is a volume game. It's a come one, come all mentality. And this is what's going to start laying the foundation for the rest of what's going to happen next. So let's get into that. The next layer in your social life blueprint on the pyramid is going to be core circle formulation. So what, what exactly is core circle formulation? How does that work? And why is that important? So let's get into that real quick. So these are basically going to be your peers. This is going to be people that are essentially on the same level that you are. It's going to be guys that are similar to you in, in height and similar to you in looks, similar to you in interest, similar to you in, in income level and in status, right? So these are going to be people that become best friends, basically. It's going to become your wingmen. It's going to be the crew that you build around you that moves together and is in the proverbial trenches together. And this is really important. We'll get to why that matters first before we get into the other aspects and the elements into your social life blueprint. Um, this is also where you're going to start developing female aces. And so what exactly is female aces uh, in the space of social circle? Female friends is a very hot topic. And the way that I see it is that there's just certain women along the way that you'd rather have a strategic alliance with as opposed to try to forward the relationship and potentially burn that relationship out. You know, the, the hotter the flame, the shorter the burn. So these female aces aren't necessarily just plutonic relationships. That's not really how I view this playing out. The way that I view it playing out with female aces is that there is an initial man to woman dynamic. So there is attraction, there is flirtatiousness, but there's a strategic decision that's made not to act and move forward on those impulses. And that's really important. So this crew of guys and this crew of girls is gonna be the group of people that'll be up for whatever together, 
right? They're not super, they're, these aren't superficial relationships. These are, you know, very down to earth people. This really is your core circle that begins to move around and do things together. So it comes from your high volume front end offer. The high volume front end offer, really the purpose of it is to start bringing in people at scale and at volume to display it down into your core circle. So your core circle is gonna give you alternative invites, right? They're gonna be investing in you the same way that you made effort to invest and create this in the first place. So they'll offer alternative invitations for you to be able to diversify your lifestyle. So this is gonna be invitations to places that other people are going and uh, to ideas that other people have. It's not always gonna be completely up to you in this phase, which is great. So it gives you variety and then it gives you some good logistics. And again, this is what comes from your high volume front end offer. That's why that that aspect is uh, crucial. It's an, it's key and important before you can get your core circle. All right. So again, from your core circle, once you have logistics and you have some variety, the next component to mastering your social life blueprint is going to be content. So let's talk about content for a second here. Obviously it's photos and videos with friends and activities. So this manifests itself as interesting stories on Instagram that have some variety on your public story and on your private close friend story. It's gonna materialize as Instagram reels. So maybe it's a recap of an activity that you did with your friend group using a tool like Video Leap where it just takes a compilation of a bunch of different clips and then uh, edits them together and puts it over music and just creates an interesting, engaging piece of content for your audience on your Instagram profile. Um, it's gonna materialize as having better posts on Instagram because you're on that hike with that social group with your core circle and these people are actually going to care to take the time to get a good photo of you that has a good photo composition and they're going to care about how you look in the picture and they're going to make sure that the lighting is okay and 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 you guys are investing in each other so therefore your content is going to become better and what happens in this phase is because as a squad as a core circle you're moving around and doing things together uh and collaborating because of things like, you know, tagging these people, reposting these people, you begin to broaden your reach on Instagram. And this is how you begin to develop and start to see traction with your reputation. So reputation is really important with your social life blueprint. And that's where this begins to come into play. So when people are consistently seeing you popping up, people are seeing your name getting reposted, strangers are now viewing your content, that's where you're gonna begin to start gaining some attention and people are gonna begin to see that this guy is different. You know, this guy makes moves and he has friends and he's doing different things that separate you from the rest of uh, society at large. And so that part is important because then we get into the element of elite men in your social lifestyle blueprint. And this one is really important because uh, you can't really get here until you've built up an, enough of your own social capital and of your own value to start actually like playing at this higher level. So the worst thing that could happen for you guys is if I were to just put you in a room with a bunch of elite men before you were ready, it would completely backfire because you wouldn't be prepared for it you wouldn't really have your own intrinsic value with your core group and your core circle that has fr has fun with or without the rest of these people and would be it would be a disaster 90% of people just aren't even really they're not ready for this element yet and so what ends up happening is because of your content and developing your reputation through your core circle what happens is you know say that you're here and then there's these elites that are a little bit further up here, the gap begins to get bridged because you're able to start making friends with people that are kind of in between. And that's what's going to begin to get you on people playing at a super high level, getting on their radar. 
So it's really rare that anybody would ever just like start from zero and just jump to this like super high level right away. The way that it'll actually end up playing out in real life is that over time, as your reputation and your value gets built up, you're going to start to begin to get on people's radar and then you're going to slowly ease your way into different spheres of influence. So it's important that you have value by the time that you are getting there. Because imagine being in a scenario where without having your core group of wingmen by your side, your best friends and some female aces that uh, you know are there to support you, I mean, it, it, would just, it just wouldn't really be a disaster. Like by the time you're getting to this place, you wanna have already developed a fun lifestyle that you enjoy on your own with people that you already love so that really you can kind of be with or without it because you know, once we start getting into these higher echelons, that's where things can start to kind of become hairy and they can, they can start to get messier. And you really want to have those core circle people that are always going to truly care for you and have your back before you start getting into this uncharted territory. All right. So what comes after making friends with more, you know, elite men is going to be exclusive invitations. So this is where you begin to start getting special access. So a big example uh, from my lifestyle is going to be invitations on things like yachts. You're going to start gaining invitations to things like private parties and private events at uh, private residences that aren't at public places. You're going to begin to have more of this like insider information about what the move is. Uh, information that can't be found on, on Yelp or on Google. And it's, it's only through the grapevine, this information that only people on the inside have, you're going to finally start to become in the know and in the loop. And so what happens is that inside of these exclusive environments, the environment itself pre-qualifies you about 90% of the way to other people so just by virtue of being and sharing this space in this environment you having made it to that point is going to do most of the selling and telling that you need to do for yourself that's why the the concept of game no longer matters is 100 percent true like the more that you'd be in these environments reaching or trying hard or being gamey, the more that that's going to, people are going to feel that that's going to work against you and that's going to turn people off. So what works actually way better is just being yourself, even if that means being more reserved, being more laid back and being even maybe a little bit more introverted. Because at this point in these shared, more exclusive environments, that might not only be welcomed, but it's more appreciated. You're just truly genuinely being who you are. And that's really at the end of the day, what matters in a high level social circle. And so what comes after the exclusive invitations is, you know, at the very top of the iceberg, the, the thing that a lot of people are kind of here for in the first place, right? Which is, you know, business and money making opportunities, and then women that were previously untouchable or uncold approachable or unfindable on dating apps, right? Like in these exclusive environments, you know, this is where conversations about business are very natural. Uh, it's just, it, nothing feels forced at this point. Everything at this high of a level really is super effortless. And I know that that's the point that everybody wants to get to where things are just natural and you can just be yourself and opportunity is coming to you around the clock. And it really is truly a beautiful thing, man, because everybody at the top is worked hard to get there. And so therefore they're collaborating and everybody at the bottom is competing. So if you notice yourself competing more than you're collaborating, Take a look at where you're at on this pyramid and figure out what it is that you need to work on in order to scale, because these concepts are in order. And this is a life that you get to build. And so that's why I hope that you can see that this is, this is about more than just dating. 
Um, it's about more than just making a friend, right? This is this isn't just about cold approach or pickup. Like there isn't just one kind of singular goal going on here. This is an entire lifestyle, and it's a blueprint to a social life that you get to create for yourself, right? And it, it can even kind of give you a sense of purpose the way that it has for me, uh, which is a you know a really a really beautiful thing because it's it's not about one or the other. Uh, con uh, you know, outcomes. It's about pursuing your fucking dreams, living a life that's worth remembering and uh, reaching your fullest potential, right? So link is in the description to book a call with me if you want me to walk you through the step-by-step -step method that I have to take you from wherever you're at to formulating your core circle and scaling up from there. You can take a look at it and decide if you like it or not. Uh, for those that are in the program, I will see you, man, inside the fucking Discord. Let's get after it and let's win together, guys. I'll see you on the inside. Peace out.